I picked up this cute little camper, this little wooden camper at Hobby Lobby for $16.99. It was 40% off. And I started by painting it in Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I just gave it one coat and then I hit it with a sanding block. The sanding block was probably $150. Now I'm going to start by taping off and creating a pattern of stripes using my painter's tape. And I lay one piece of tape down. I take a section as my measure for the next row of tape. And I just keep doing this over and over all the way down the camper. Now I'm painting over my painter's tape in Higgins Lake. It's just, just really pretty uh, pastel-y blue-ish, like a little light green in there. It's just a really pretty color. And I'm going to paint over all of the taping. Now I'm going to remove the tape and you can see how it creates almost perfect stripes. I'm going to go in with our metallic. It's our heavy metal by Wise Owl. I'm going to hit the tire and the front trailer pole. All these paints can be found at chalkitupfancy.com. I can still see uh, the engraving of the different images in the camper. So I'm filling in the windows also with our heavy metal silver. I started by painting the curtains in Republic Red. I am going to change this out. I wanted it to be a little bit more pink. So I'm going to mix the Republic Red with the white, but I'm going to do this in a little bit. I'm going to allow this Republic Red to dry, and then I'm going to kind of fix that. This was too red for me. I traced over the engraved line also with the metallic heavy metal, the silver. And now I'm going around the door. Once everything dried, I covered it with one hour enamel clear, then allowed that to dry. And before I continued, I wanted to fix around these curtains. I mixed the Republic Red with the white, and I went over the Republic Red with this more pink tone. And this worked out better. This is more what I was looking for. Then I just go through and I outline in the white. I just wanted my curtains to be a little bit more on the soft side. And then allowed that to dry. I'm going to be using Fuchsia Sunset. It's a gorgeous transfer. The first paneling has um, some French writing with these beautiful uh, hot pink and blue flowers. The second panel has some yellow, the pink and the blue flowers, a bumblebee, and some scrolly borders. 
So I'm going to be taking from this particular panel and I'm going to cut out some of the images that I'm going to want to use. You can remove from its protective backing and you're going to place down where you want to apply it. Each transfer comes with this little wooden stick. You're just going to rub and rub on your image and gently start lifting it up from one corner and I kind of rub right under where I'm lifting as I'm lifting. I kind of rub and lift at the same time. So I just started picking some different flowers and placing them along the bottom of the trailer. I really wanted this to be a feminine look. I took one of the borders and placed it at the top of the trailer. And of course, my favorite part is this little bee that I placed by the door. I think this came out really super cute. Again, this was a cutout from Hobby Lobby for $14.99, 40% off, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much.